braided lords of Celtis surrender Their magna burned alive as they watch. Stripped of magic, the armies of Glaivegate fell. To Sandrak, the bold and terrible tyrant of Rayshard. They called him their ruler, as he was of east and west. And the horns of their ancestors trumpeted blood in protest. Hardcore. Hush. Passage to the sands of Oroman was secure. The Sky Islands, careful. Ever war I'm being approached careful. With winged as careful as last time. Careful, uh. And the wound That's not a word. Earth yawned wide as he spoke, declaring, The Madlai of their order now vanished. Damn. You think Sandrak really talks like that? I'm concentrating. Maybe he bores his enemies to death. I'm concentrating. But mine. But I am not. But I am not the man content to simply wander. I am. I'm wandering every third word. Distracted. Go, go, go. No one cares about Arsay Norman. Sandrak's coming our way. Got it. Let's go. Ladies, gentlemen, everyone, please take your seats. Hey, wait up, Luna. Over here, Jack. Others made out better. One can hope. Did Caleb ever tell you his plans for this caper he's got in mind up in Topside? I think he just likes to say caper. Caper. Cape. It's a fun word. It feels sneaky. Also, you two stay out of Topside. No one's using the cargo lift. Come on. So I wasn't paying attention. What was the play about? Um. Kalthus surrendered to Sandrak, and then he burnt all their magna. Alive. Well, that's not nice at all. What kind of message does that send? It's pretty rude, if you ask me. Message? Sandrak's just an asshole. He had them beat. Why would he- Just send a message. That's the whole thing we're talking about. What, like surrender to Rasharn and we'll only slaughter a few of you? Can't make omelets, Jack. What's an omelet? Never mind. Let's cut through the market. Sure, but let's keep an eye out for the constables. The market seems kind of dead tonight. There's talk of a bunch of airships coming into dock. Some hivers probably think they can make easy money unloading cargo. Maybe that's what we should have done instead of stealing from the hat guy. He was a bust. By any metric, a man with a hat indicates a perfectly respectable mark. That sounds... made up. So... when are you gonna tell them? Are you gonna tell them? Maybe. I don't know. Feels late for it now. You made it late. Because I hate goodbyes. Sure. I get that. What's up? Uh, you're in no hurry to get back. No. You're thinking how much you're going to miss this garbage heap. Please, 
would you? Don't call my home a garbage heap. I don't want to spend my life living above a bottomless hole in the ground, Jack. We don't technically know if the wound is totally bottomless. All signs point to yes. They'll be okay, Luna. I'll watch over them. We- I've got an idea. Target practice? Why not? It's our civic duty as citizens of the Seren Underbridge. It's janitorial work. Probably would have made more money clearing off these large barnacles than we did at that play. Fair. You're all about duty right now, aren't you? Nice. You'll make a good soldier. I hear they give better uniforms to the lightless that can summon a little magic like this. There's a war, Jack. It's not about the uniform. Or maybe it's better boots. Cheese, Jack. Wait, what? Soldiers get to eat real cheese. Boots are just extra. Huh. Rashan's got no idea what's coming. Make corporal, I can even buy land. The whole farm just full of boots. Look, I know I keep saying I get it, but I don't. Not really. You're the first person I've met that actually wants to fight in the Ever War. No one escapes the draft, Jack. They do all the time. You're not even going to try. Besides, I don't want to fight in the Ever War. I want to fight for Lucium. Exactly the same thing. Just shut up and shoot. ship you off to fight in the Ever War, where do you think they'll end up sending you? Who knows, maybe I have just enough magic not to be considered lightless and I'll have a say in where they send me. A Magnus gets a say. Probably. No offense, but what we do is kind of like... Pew, pew, pew. A Magnus is like... Pow, bing, brrr. I mean, it's not even a contest. Yeah, some magic might as well mean no magic as far as the Magna are concerned. Smell Fife stew from here. Pretty sure the whole neighborhood can. You know, everything he cooks tastes vaguely like regret. <laughs> We're home. Jack! Whoa! No love for the boss? Come here. Are you leaving us? You turn 16 in the morning, and that's when the soldiers throw you into the army because Jack said life is unfair. Or you could ignore the draft like a normal person. Happy birthday. No one tells me anything. How'd you score? <sighs> We're officially the worst street thieves in Saren. Hopefully Caleb redeems us. <sighs> Dug this out of the back of Troy's place. I guess we can act like it's cake. Oh no, you're not eating that. Shoe. Sure. Probably wise. Stew's almost ready anyway. Grab us some tubers from up top, Jack. Sure thing. Tubers? Let me know when Caleb gets here. 
I've got something I want to tell you all. Like that you're leaving us? Shut up, you. Did not. Well, something's got them all riled. Look, it's not like it was hard to figure out you're leaving. You're packing bags, you're crossing out days on the calendar, you're reading big, fat, official-looking books of... What is it this time? The Officer's Manual of Lights, Army Regulations. See? No way that gave away the store, right? <sighs> what are you thinking? Would you rather fight a hundred-foot-tall crab or one hundred one-foot-tall crabs? The day may come. You should seriously think about it. Probably a hundred... Wait. A Vecchi crab or a crab crab? Don't overthink it. But Vecchi's are super aggressive. It's a fight. I don't know. If it's not about killing a hundred regularly dispositioned crabs, I don't want any part of it. <laughs> Idiot. Look, I'm seriously innocent. They just figured it out. Yeah, I know. I just don't want to know that they know. Not yet. I'm sure we'll all act surprised when you finally tell us. I'm gonna. Just... just let me know when Caleb's back. I'll do it all in one big go. Alright. See you at dinner. You bet. Jack, just remember to be super supportive of her when she tells everyone at dinner. Happy birthday, Luna. I hit it big tonight. Think fast. Your present, such as it is. What's that in it? The pentasad. No shit, I mean the swirly stuff. Looks like snow. What's snow? I don't know, wintertime shit. They say it's in Calthus all the time. Looks pretty as all. Oh! Caleb! Well, yeah. I'm sorry. Move your hand. Let me see. Constable got a lucky shot. I'll be- Ah! Damn it, Jack! It's not good. Did they follow you? You got yourself hurt over this thing? Careful, Caleb. Your guts are split. Why didn't you- I didn't want to ruin your birthday at all. That's dumb. Jack, come on. We need medicine. I've got an idea. Explain on the way. You guys, watch him. Get the rags and the water, and don't let him sleep. You know how to do this. We'll be quick. So, what's the plan? I'm